Its amazing 30mm 7 barreled cannon is the most powerful gun ever to take to the skies. What's going on guys? So recently I've been doing a lot of ground pounding with Cass Aircraft in War Thunder just for this event because it's the easiest way to get score. And it kind of made me think about the A-10 and if it should be added to War Thunder or not. So this is kind of a discussion video. I want to talk about the A-10 and if you guys think it should be added to War Thunder. I would personally love it. Don't get me wrong. Uh, it's such a beautiful aircraft. It has such a you know, when I was growing up, it was that aircraft. That and the F-16 were those aircraft for me. I think it just looks so badass how they painted the mouth on it. That 30 millimeter Gao cannon would just fucking destroy tanks. Uh, it could carry so much ordnance and make it back to base safe, which is something that is a little different for War Thunder. Not many of the planes that are in the game are technically super durable. I mean, the Duck, I guess you could say, is a pretty durable plane. Uh, it was kind of like a... World War II A-10 with its philosophy, right? Uh, but the A-10 could lose a tail section and still make it back to base in certain circumstances. So I wonder if they do add it, let's just say, would they make it super durable? And also how effective would the cannon be against the tanks that we have in game now? Uh, I think that the cannon kind of relies on how many rounds it can hit the enemy tank with and concussion because it doesn't necessarily have to pen the tank. It you can get hit with so much lead from the top down that the crew would just go unconscious, possibly even die, rupture eardrums, stuff like that, which is not technically modeled in War Thunder, right? We don't worry about the crew going to sleep or anything. There's no crew knockout. There's nothing like that. It's either the crew's dead or they're orange. <laughs> and uh, that's like the only difference. So I don't know. I think that for what we have in game now something like the t2 right would be really really good at countering an a10 i don't think the a10 would be that good in the skies it's decently fast plane surprisingly enough like it's not slow uh it's just slow by modern standards and also that gun would be really fun to mess around with against planes i think so that's just something that you know would be cool i'm not gonna lie and we don't have any planes uh, what i was trying to say earlier is we don't have any planes that are jet aircraft designated to the ground ground attack role uh, that are super modern yet you know we don't have anything as modern as the t2 that was completely designed to attack the ground the a10 is in that category it's also with the frogfoot uh something like the same thing as the frogfoot the su25 i wouldn't mind if they added that either if the a10 was going to be added uh, do I want them in game? Yes, I want both of them to tell you the truth the SU-25 and the A-10 But we need some more stuff I think first before they come uh, And I hope you guys agree with me on that But I'm curious about what you guys think about the A-10. It can carry a ton of different ordnance too, not just uh, Bombs, I mean it can carry bombs. It can carry missiles some type of guided missiles. It has the gun obviously uh, cluster bombs, a ton of different things. I mean, it is super versatile when it comes to what the that tank actually or that plane actually carries to destroy tanks, uh, bunker busters and whatnot. So it would definitely be interesting to see what Gaijin would pick as you know the actual ordnance loadout. Would it go with an earlier model where it can only carry dummy bombs? I mean, I guess it could carry dummy bombs, and I wouldn't have an issue if they weren't all lock on. Um, I have no idea if it can carry AAMs, but if it could, that would be pretty cool if it had AAMs and bombs as a loadout. Uh, the armor piercing, I believe, on those Gao cannons don't pen more than like 150 millimeters. Uh, I could be wrong. I'm speaking a little out of school. I'm sure somebody in the comment section will know exactly how much the Gao pens, but they can type that and you can check that down there. I think it'll be enough to kill most tanks in the game. But also things like the Tunguska kind of make a plane like that useless. So it'll be really interesting. I think Seed is something that needs to be added to the game too. Uh, within the future of War Thunder. I want Seed and I want Radar to be more refined I think. Because currently if you're in a helicopter and there's a Tunguska. You stand zero chance. Uh, regardless of if you use the tree tops and the tree canopies as cover. Uh, if you try to go below 
the ground and whatnot, you still get picked up by radar and you're still gonna die in one missile hit. So I wish there was more things to combat the Tunguska. I wish more nations got a vehicle like the Tunguska. Um, I think the next patch has to really push the envelope in terms of equalizing the game because currently it's in a, a pretty shit spot at top tier, I think, and it's not really that fun. Uh, there's just a lot of stuff that doesn't have counters and it's not fun to fight against things that don't have counters uh, especially the Tunguska you know they did nerf the uh, AAMs on that so it can't really kill tanks as easy anymore but I would like to see equal AA for every nation and then some vehicles like the A-10 uh, maybe the new helicopters too I think the Euro Tiger should come out the Euro, is it the Euro, Eurocopter, Tiger, or whatever that is. Those might be two different helicopters anyway, I don't know, but I think those should be added to the game, and everybody would be all hunky-dory with the new vehicles, new stuff, new things to play, everything's balanced, hip hip hooray, am I right, or am I right? I think that would be awesome, but there is definitely a need for some balancing at top tier. I think it's a little silly right now how everything's unfolded. And uh, I've been having a ton of fun just playing lower tier, I think, for this event because top tier is Garbo. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hopefully it didn't feel like it was a clickbaity video. It might have been, it might not have been, but I did want to talk about the A-10. I think the A-10 is sick. Uh, I'd like to see it in War Thunder. I just want more uh, modern jets now, considering how I saw how the T-2 plays and AAMs play. I just want more and more and more. Give me an F-14, man. That's why I was pretty disappointed with this April Fool's event. I thought it was going to be modern jets which would have been awesome like f-14s versus mig 29s instead they gave us ufos so hopefully we don't get ufos next patch i'm i'm not ready for that shit uh they can keep that <laughs> they can keep the aliens at bay for the time being hopefully and uh we can get some some beefy ass jets up in here things that can compete with the t2 and even outspeed it and whatnot i'd be down for it and i hope you guys are too well it's been your boy slick uh so i've been having a little bit of trouble with my videos going to sub boxes i guess recently uh, i just noticed that like the views are kind of down which is abnormal i understand if it's a, a shorter video usually it doesn't get as many views but it's just a big disparity and some people were telling me on stream that they weren't getting the videos to sub boxes so just remember to click that bell in the top right if you want to be notified for my videos or if not that's cool too i mean uh you know i have my days <laughs> so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next one peace peace so i have some footage left over of something i did on stream it was like a challenge so i played as no, whatever I'm... killed me uh, we're sanding it games. so that's just gonna be the footage of this let me know if you want to see a full video on this and uh if you want me to try to get from like one tier to a different tier it's kind of hard because you know you have to get into an up tier in that case and die by like the highest tier tank and then try to work your way up but it's pretty funny and uh if we can refine the challenge let me know suck it that truck is overpowered Do I really not have FP? No. Say it ain't so. I got the horses in the back. <laughs> oh, I'm happy that thing didn't kill me. On stream, I don't know how to fill the void. The sadness void. That thing's disgusting. That guy just doesn't give a shit. Oh, there he goes. He noticed. Oh my god, he cared so little. Can I panic KV1? Whoa!
Thank you.